Leo, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for November 30th through December 6th. Cards are falling. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. Ow! And then I'll, uh, I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below. It's a little bit of a mess of an energy here, Leo, from what I'm getting. The cards are flying all over the place. My nose is itching. I'm bumping my... What's going on? All right, let's see here. Okay, so the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, or that's what you're seeking here. Hard to, um, hard to see it right now. You're, 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 you have a mission. The problem is you don't know what your mission is. That's the problem here. And it's love. Um, underneath there, somewhere through the pain, through the deception, you know that. Um, in the recent past, what flew over there like crazy, the Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, all in reverse. Uh, something didn't work out. Something very, a commitment of some sort. It could have been very spiritual. It could have been very powerful to you. Um, it just didn't make sense anymore. It just didn't work out. Something there. Mm -mm. It's, it's like you're in this energy right now where you're looking at it and are like, okay... That didn't work, even though it felt very strong at the time. Um, we'll see, we'll get there. In the current situation, you get the Three of Swords, the Strength card, the Knight of Wands. That's your mission, that's your mission statement. I'm going in, and I'm going to ask you, Leo, towards what? And you're going to say, I don't know, but I'm going. Okay, um, you don't know because um, something is kind of blocking you. You want love, at the same time, love hurts you. So you don't really want it, but you want it. Kind of deal. That's why you can't see this mission that you're on, right? Even though you're eager to love, to open up your heart. That's you. That's a Leo. That's what Leo does, right? Uh, but for some reason, you're experiencing um, the pain of love. In the immediate future, you get the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords. All right. Something's getting heavy for you here. And it's that sense of, and we all fall into that at times, um, looking at your life, all right, trying to get that bigger picture and not really able to see the positive things from your life, but focusing on the negative. And that's coming in here for you. And there's a sense of deceptiveness to it. Because as we all know, there are two sides to the story. There are two. There's always two. There's positive, there's negative in any kind of. And for some reason, the human mind is just that crazy that it's going to go there. It's going to catch the, the, the smallest negative thing and it's going to make you like, mm, this is where I'm staying. But you got positive. What? Po what? Go away. You know, so... I don't know if this is you, to be honest. I don't know who's who in this reading quite yet. Um, sometimes it gets cleared up along the way. So this could be somebody that's tied up to you. In your current situation, I definitely see you on your mission there. But let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Hermit. There you are. Possibly dealing with a Virgo here. There's, regardless of whether or not you're dealing with a Virgo, you're, um... When you're in touch with yourself, you're finding a sense of loss within you for some reason. You're finding a sense of 
I want love so that I don't end up alone, which is actually translated into I'm afraid of ending up alone or somebody has abandoned me in the past and caused me to think that I need somebody and that nobody's going to abandon me ever again kind of thing. Um, I don't see that stopping you from um, exploring true love or from wanting true love. I see it as a barrier right now for some reason because it's creating a lot of pain for you. Discovering that um, abandonment issue. I feel like it's something very rooted within you that you're trying to deal with at times. You're doing it at times. Not really wanting to look at it. It's just like everybody else does. So it's... Um, Kind of normal but it's there just so you know it's there and it's in the way of you opening up your heart uh let's go to this recent past that's all turned upside down here let me see the hierophant that jumped out in reverse nine of swords knight of wands five of wands whatever this was to you it caused a lot of conflict a lot of pain for you uh possibly depression for some of you a lot of inner struggle the situation let me clarify the queen of swords in reverse queen, queen of swords in reverse that's a tough energy to deal with that's somebody ruthless let's see ten of wands knight of cups temperance card yeah It's like somebody that's forgetting to love to not to love because the love is there i see the love there within them um forgetting to live through emotions pretty much you know to they kind of cut in stone uh somebody that's been hurt so bad that they don't care they're like whoever whatever i'm just gonna screw them over because i've been screwed over kind of deal so I don't know who that is. Maybe you, maybe them. No idea. But um, definitely something that um, whoever this is, definitely something that taught you a lot. Um, I kind of feel like that's your energy, to be honest with you. But let's see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. All right. Yeah, it just wasn't working out. I feel like you tried over and over again to restore this, to bring this back into... Because at some point, this thing, this situation did work out. It did feel very intensely very good. And I see you trying to restore it, trying to bring it back to life, trying to bring it back to love. Just didn't work out. Um, let's see this Three of Swords in the current situation. The sun, the world, the king of cups. All right. Nice. Yeah, you've been hurt, Leo, and you're just coming out of something very painful. Um, and that's... By opening up to how you feel, by, by letting your heart do its job, pretty much, you know, love, uh, feeling, uh, experiencing everything through your heart. That's how you're coming out through something that hurt a lot. Something that turned you into stone here in the past, to be honest with you. That's how it shows up. Uh, came in as, my God, this is not working out. There's conflict all the time. There's this, that, and the other. There's conflict within me now. Now I'm going to turn into this cold Queen of Swords energy. And I'm going to... Mm, um, screw everybody that comes my way and then I'm gonna try to fix what I lost and now you're finally 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 coming back to that heart space of yours let me clarify the strength card in the current situation eight of swords Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. All right, so there is here showing up for you a partnership that um, you do not want to let go of. I feel like it's a different energy than what you've experienced in the past with 
the past person. Um, could be a friendship, could be a work situation, a work dynamic. Uh, something that kind of keeps you up at night, you know, it's, it's in your mind, it's there. It's kind of stressing you out, to be honest with you. That's the way it shows up. For some reason, you're not letting this go. Now, I don't know if there's something happening here that's kind of causing you to experience uh, the loss of this connection and you're refusing to let it go. Something is making you, um, well, sending it into your head about it. Something is not letting you feel your way through this. There's definitely something you refuse to let go at this time. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. The Empress, the Three of Wands, the Star. Okay. This situation in the middle of the reading, to be honest, when the middle shows up for me, usually, it's like the core of the reading. I look at it and I'm like, oh, this is what this reading is about. To be honest, no. Doesn't show up like that this time. It feels like this is a separate situation of you um, who's thrown up in the me middle is you dealing with a stressful uh, part through all of this healing of a broken heart from the past. Um, either this person helped you or something happened in this partnership that you're not letting go but the more you open up your heart, the more um, you're stressing out about this. So they are cor correlated somehow, just not the same person or not the same situation. You are growing, you are starting to get back into your power um, and achieve pretty much whatever it is that you want here. And you are... Uh, Stepping into that understanding that whatever you want to achieve, you are gonna, and you're gonna need patience for that, you know? You're coming even to that understanding, and for a Leo, that's big. Let's see what's going on here in the immediate future, because there's a whole lot of heaviness showing up here. You see the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, all right. So there's that sense of something being done when you don't want it to be. There's a situation in love uh, that shows up with a lot of heaviness, a lot of barriers, a lot of defensiveness, a lot of... Mm, because it's done. It's like somebody believes truly that this cannot be happening even though they want it to. And to be honest, I don't feel like that's you. Um, let's see here. Let me see the Four of Cups. Three of Cups, King of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, this reconciliation energy, whoever it is, someone is bringing it to you because they're unhappy if they don't. Uh, when they do, I'm not sure if you're going to take it, to be honest. You might not look at it. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. Of course, roles can be reversed, so... Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like it's somebody that's coming back from the past. Um, you're going to respond to them pretty much within the same energy. So let's say they seem unattached. They seem, and you know this person has feelings and you may have feelings, but they seem like so, as a matter of fact, you're going to respond as a matter of fact, you know. So it's the same kind of energy. If you're the more loving one, because I see you opening up, you're not going to be like, well, I love you through all of this, and, you know, you can be whoever you are, I still love you kind of deal. No. If they're asking you about the weather, you're going to be like, where? Where I live or where you live? Kind of thing. You know, so you're going to kind of jump into their boat uh, with the energy that they're bringing, from what I can see. It's a little bit deceptive. It shows up as a little bit deceptive because, as I said, you are showing up as uh, someone that's opening up their heart. Um, and this is not the energy for that, um, which is kind of telling me you're not going to be truly honest with this person. You're just kind of going to play their game. Let's just put it that way. 
Um, let's see what the universe has. The moon, the eight of cups, the page of cups. All right. Yeah, you're not. Um, you're not. You're not accepting something that this person is bringing. You're not looking at it. You're not accepting it. And why it's shown up as being deceptive? Because instead of being honest about it, you're kind of jumping into their boat to play their game, kind of thing. You know. Um, so that's why the energy of deceptiveness shows, and it's shown up from the universe as a secret. Like you're not really telling them, you know, that no, I'm not interested in this. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.